A bow and arrow was used worldwide, but the indigenous Australians never used a bow and arrow. The main reason? They never needed to. They used spears, and they used their knowledge of science and physics in order to increase their effectiveness with these spears. There are two ways to increase the power of any projectile. One is to increase the weight. As you can see, this arrow was quite light. If we were to double the weight, we would increase the amount of penetration that the arrow can produce. The problem with this is that the arrow becomes heavier, which means we lose power and speed. The second way to increase the power of a projectile is to increase the speed at which that projectile is launched. Indigenous Australians made the woomera for this purpose. It is a paddle-shaped piece of timber with a hook at one end and a handle at the other. The handle is covered in a wax gathered from the spinifex grass, and when hardened, becomes as solid as a rock. The hook is also attached with this wax and reinforced with kangaroo sinew that is used like a rope. If you can increase the power of a spear, then the bow and arrow is not required. Here we have an arrow. Obviously this isn't a spear, but for now just pretend. A spear would be approximately three times as long. It would still have a point at one end. There would be no fletching, but there would still be something similar to a knock. And this is a hole in the back of the spear. This hole was made by using the spinifex wax, and it was designed to fit into the hook of the woomera. Here's my woomera. It's pretty simple, just a plank of timber, a couple of nails, and a bit of string. Now, it's small enough to get a grip on, and you can get a decent swing out of it. Now, I built it to be proportional to the arrow that I'll be using as my testing base. So as normal, you just knock the arrow on the string, grip the woomera, and launch like normal. The arrow will then detach from the knock and continue on its course. Now we'll move on to the power demonstrations. As a baseline, here is me using my hunting bow and the arrows. As you can see, the arrows pierce not only the bottle completely all the way through, but also dig into the ground on the other side. Here we have the hand throwing arrow test. Uh, as you can see, hand throwing arrows isn't exactly recommended and is not very easy. They don't produce much power and they're not very stable. Now, even when the arrow strikes the bottle, it doesn't have enough power to penetrate the plastic. This is due to it not having enough speed being launched from the hand. Next is the Woomera test. Obviously the arrow flies a lot faster and is a lot more stable in the air as can be seen from the very first shot. The problem is getting the shot to be accurate. It is very difficult. I spent about four to five hours filming this section and I think I only hit the bottle two or three times. The trick is to get the release in the right spot. Even based on my scale testing with arrows, it's clear that the indigenous Australians knew what they were doing when it came to physics. They were able to increase the effectiveness of their spears for both hunting and fighting by increasing the speed at which they could launch them. Unfortunately, I'll be sticking to using a bow as I am very bad with a woomera. I'd highly recommend you check out some professionals using one.